Hey there, Big D, it's a game changer here. So let's have a little look at this uh, base and see what we can see. So um, first observation, pretty decent setup on the uh, way that you've got the CC there. I'm expecting the F-35 likely is gonna come this way, but just triple check. If I were you, I would I would push the base further up this way a little bit, just to make absolutely certain that's, uh, that's the case. Now, just checking here, your um, Sam's obviously giving great cover for that and what uh, what level you got there. So, yeah, looking to be level 8 Sam, so well done that. Um, also, level 8 Sam's there, so absolutely fantastic. Just, um, yeah, that's giving you good cover because you don't really have any bloody um, soft spot underneath for level, uh, level 7 Sam, so that's brilliant. Uh, so, you've got three here, but I'd maybe just adjust... Um, where one was coming from so I'd probably have one on this side as well as the base but assuming you've got this correct and the F-35s are heading uh, this way in towards the CC then everything's working well but I would just be mindful make sure that they uh, you know if you take on that uh, war factor there is it possibility that the shortest route is actually uh, this way uh, as opposed to that way um, so just have a, an, an eye out for that for us. But I do think uh, you're leaving your garage vulnerable because I, I would be uh, very, very keen on taking that garage out because obviously you have your e-skims here. So if I was coming at you, I'd probably put my e-skims here and come straight in and get that, uh, that garage out of the way. So what I'd be tempted to do is probably work out for yourself is, is your e-skim the better defender I, th I think it's up there um, um, with the uh, scent so maybe um, get the garage possibly where that howitzer is so it's a little bit harder to pick out and then get a little bit more sort of mine cover around that side there so that glitched a little bit so get yeah get a little bit of an extra mine cover in just where that howitzer is there because I think then obviously they're going to try and pick you out through this sort of way here. Um, yeah, so I'd probably tackle it that way really. I think you're leaving your garage here a little bit uh, sort of uh, vulnerable. It's, it's kind of out there in the sticks really. I would I would try and bring that in. Uh, I mean, I think you're fairly good for um, protection with the uh, war factory. Um, so yeah, just garage uh, left out in the open. Uh, and as we predicted, you, you need level nine for your airfield to get to your um, uh, Raven and obviously that's going to put you slightly over isn't it so uh, you know just uh, just be aware of that um, just cautious here as well I mean you've got uh, one two three units here with reasonably sized um, soft spots underneath and then another one here another one here I think you've got kind of yeah, you're maybe going to get picked up by that, you know, yeah, you know, fair play. I mean, I'm, I was just kind of cautious here thinking that there's a lot of, um, a lot of sort of weapons here with, you know, a reasonable amount of sort of soft, soft spot underneath them, you know, that blind zone that you get. Uh, I think you've got uh, adequate overlap to be perfectly fair, but, uh, you know, I'd maybe put in a sort of a close weaponry in there as well as such like a rail gun just to obviously give them a bit more sort of uh, you know punishment but uh, you know i think uh, the fact that your units are uh, your, your, your turrets and the level of turrets that are on them are pretty high uh, value i think that's that's uh, pretty good um again i mean just uh, just observation that um you know if you were coming at me with choppers i think you know you you kind of have that heavy flak a little bit further away i mean yes you've got e-skims yes you've got um, you know scents but you know i would probably try and bring uh, the the heavy flak a little bit more into play uh, for protecting uh, you know these sort of uh, units around here as well um okay, it just feels a little bit sort of um, lost i think really you know so i'd bring that a little bit more more into the base uh, and that's really all the the critique i have um again maybe looking at if i were to attack you from this side here i'm kind of feeling that these turrets aren't gonna know i've done it um you know so i think you could divide and conquer a little bit equally if i come at you from this side which is maybe what you're aiming at i mean it could be that you're thinking oh christ put that um, that heavy flak uh, out in the in the open there and then people are going to go for that first as they often do um but ultimately that's not going to suggest that to uh, some of these turrets are going to pick you up um i think you could get away with that and probably even take the garage out before you know some of the base even realizes you're in the tax so i'd maybe sort of condense your turrets a little bit and be a little bit more clever how they're placed so that every turret's kind of hitting you all at once as opposed to selective um 
but yeah, I'd be interested to see some replays and see how that heavy flats are working for you, really. But uh, no, other than that, absolutely superb, mate. Really, really good. Uh, quite like uh, your setup. Uh, obviously, defence stats uh, working well. Um, but yeah, just back from the garage, I would uh, obviously tweak that. Um, I think we suggested that some of the um, NEMs were maybe a little bit slow coming out. I mean, I'm saying slow, I mean, it's still well in the early seconds, but uh, maybe a little bit quicker on that. I do like position of uh, where you've put your airfield, though, because obviously that's given great um, sort of uh, overall uh, base defence. So yeah, just triple check uh, which way the F 35 or a uh, Raven would come in. Uh, I, I certainly don't think it's going to get a second chance with the amount of SAMs and the high power SAM that you've got in there. But I'd be very cautious about, let's say, positioning of that. Because, you know, I think many players would probably want to take you on coming down this way, uh, get rid of the, the ghost, get rid of uh, obviously the um, sense, and then probably, to be fair, just airstrike. You know, even if you lost it, airstrike the um, the garage there. So again, that's why I think you need to get your garage tucked in into this little more awkward area here. Really, bring your flak up a little bit, uh, and I think that's going to work well. But yeah, biggest biggest area concern is is that is that definitely the uh, the flight of travel. It's it's, it's hard to predict, but uh, have a little uh, review of that for us, and that'd be amazing. Cheers, my man. Take care.